Hello, it is later in the day. We had, we, I forgot what we did. We went to the library to get some work done and I got so much done. I'm so glad we went there. And yeah, we just hung around the town for a little bit and we are back in the same spot as last night. We're actually gonna stay here for how many days? Like two days, uh, just so we can just chill. And, and they have service here. Yeah, they have cellular service here, so. It's free, and we're taking advantage of it. So we're gonna open up the tent and start dinner, and yeah. So last time we pretty much failed on making potatoes, but this time we got it down to the bag. This is so perfect. And we are seasoning it with salt, pepper, and some paprika. Garlic herb butter we put in there, and also some spray olive oil, extra virgin. And now we're just gonna get these done. And then we're gonna toss these in there. And we also have some asparagus as well. We got the steak on there. Forget about my beer. This looks amazing, dude. Is it really? You cooked it right? Good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. We got up about like an hour and a half, two hours ago. And we've just kind of been sitting around enjoying the sun. It was really, really cold last night. And one thing, I don't know if you guys have any tips on this. One thing that we are experiencing, I don't know if this is normal, but it got really, really cold in our tent last night. And that's because it gets so much condensation inside of it. There is a condensation mat that comes with the tent already on the bottom. The rooftop tent that we have already comes with a little condensation mat, as you can see. Um, but unfortunately, everywhere else gets wet. This gets wet, that gets wet, that other side gets wet, and the rain fly gets wet. And what that causes is it basically to be colder inside our tent than what it needs to be. Normally, if it's not very a cold, it's not really a cold night, it won't be too, too cold. But last night it hit like 40, and I think that's what's been causing it to be way colder in there than it needed to be. Like my feet were freezing all last night, and I'm assuming it's because the blankets were also getting wet because of the water that was, who knows, dripping in the middle of the, the night. If y'all have any tips on that, let us know.
uh, ended up being a fantastic meal. Steak and potatoes and asparagus never fail ever. You can't mess it up. So we got we we did the hard part. We we did dishes. And we got that done. We cleaned the stove because the stove was literally getting to be filthy because of all the grease that's been on it. So we packed that up. Um, pack up the soap and the sponge and stuff like that. And yeah, and I just relax for the rest of the day. That's basically what we've been doing all day. Yeah, we've just been watching YouTube videos because <laughs> we have service here. So we've just been taking advantage of the fact that we have service and just been watching everything that we possibly can. morning we have everything packed up and ready to go we're leaving the site today we have no idea what we're doing because <laughs> we didn't plan anything yet but it's still really early so we we got plenty of chances and opportunities to just do whatever we want to do today we're still in Flagstaff and we haven't seen anything from Route 66 yet so we're gonna go ahead and probably do that today but for now we are just getting ready to hit the road again so another thing that we've been needing is a car wash so we're gonna try to find one because we're in desperate need of it like I can't see out my windows anymore this is a clay we found a pretty decent car wash I'm just gonna do a really quick rinse to be honest with you it's nothing really important to me we just need to at least see out of our windows and maybe clean the solar panel because I haven't done that well I did but with wipes now we can actually deep clean it and I took the bag off just so we can get behind it.
this car wash was an absolute fail. One, we don't have towels to clean the windows, so they're going to have streaks all over them. They barely got any of the dirt off. The spot free rinse wasn't even working. And then not to mention, there's a blower here <laughs> to, to blow the car dry. And it was the weakest blower I've ever seen in my life. Whatever. At least we got some of the dirt off. We could probably find a towel to just use on here. But right now I can't really do much with it. It's just streaks everywhere. There you go. Where did I put this?